Can you see it? Can you see the red light? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. What? Okay. Oh, being triplets. So what's it like being a triplet? <clears throat> right. Triplets. Um, um, okay, imagine you have uh, imagine you have those two, like in the cartoons or whatever, or in those those movies when the when the devil and the angel appear on your shoulders, but they're like exactly like you. Imagine that, but it's us. Like one thing is that it's like I have two mirrors, basically. I can tell you, it's better than being you. <laughs> What are our parents like? Well, the phrase would best describe us: hustle and flow. Like you should have been. Come on, man. You should have been like. I like to just... roller skate and play tennis and dance, <laughs> dance, dance. Just, just you gonna be good. like a lot of frequently asked questions. I mean, I guess number one would obviously be, which one are you? How can you tell the difference? So yeah, I guess, start from the beginning, um, our parents used to dress us up in different colors. Singular colors, like, uh, I was blue, Khalil was red, Amal was green. And we used to have these little um, corduroy suits with like a hat, jacket, and some pants, right? They're all like red, blue, and green. Um, so that's like one way people set up told us apart for right now. Our hairstyles are different. I have the longest hair. Uh, Malik has the shorter hair, and Kalu has like a, like a mix between the two. Uh, talk about the shoes, uh, birthmark. I have one here. He has a mole on his neck, but I mean, you can't really see that. I just want to like be me like, you know, like look around his neck every time you want to figure out who he is. Mon had some kind of like uh, scar under his eye before, and they would tell him apart by that, and then Kalu would be the guy who just doesn't have anything. And some people just knew like our face, like we look different from each other. So sort of, like the construction of our face, not like what we look like, but like, oh yeah, Malik has a long face. Or like Khalil has like the more so wide face, right? Clothes, voice, hair. Some people think that we look exactly alike, right? Like, totally identical, you can't tell the difference. Over here, people are like, you guys are totally different. I can't even say, are you guys identical? Like, I mean, you guys aren't fraternal, are you? It's like, we're identical, but it's just kind of weird how um, people can say sort of like totally different things and see the same three people, right? I don't know why he got it, but everyone seems to be very curious about that. It's like, why? So why do you have the long afro? And, and a lot of people think it's actually like some deep, like meaningful reason why Ahmad's hair is longer, Khalil's is like the second, and mine's the shortest. Honestly, it's not because we want to quote unquote express our individuality. I have longer hair because I like having longer hair. It's not because I'm trying to express my individuality or differentiate myself from my brother. I guess people always ask us, do you guys actually fight? Like you want to see some like real unfaked WWE SmackDown versus Raw? Come to our house. Ah! 
that we have, we have these unspoken rules. You can't, no scratching, no biting, no face shots. Um, if he hits you first, you have, you, I mean, you gotta make it equal. So you can hit him back once. If you like tap them, the other person gets to tap you back. It doesn't really like matter if it was like a joke or whatever. It's like you get tapped, other person can tap you back. The fights would start when like, um, you know, for example, I tap one of my brothers, tap them, they tap me back, they tap me back too hard, so I'm like, no, like that wasn't an equal tap. Usually that escalates into something ridiculous, like just, you know. You get into a big fight. Looking back on it, it's probably pretty petty stuff. So that happens. One of the dumber ones, honestly, is like, we'll tell some people we're triplets, they'll be like, when's your birthday? When's his birthday? What's your birthday, right? And like, the person asking will go around and ask each one of us, what our birthday is, as if we don't have the same birthday. Guy will ask me, right, like, what's your birthday? May 31st. Uh, what's your birthday? May 31st? I was like, what's your birthday? May 31st. Right, like, <laughs> yes, there are those situations where, like, a twin is born at, like, 11.59 p.m., and the other twin is born at 12, 12.01 a.m. So, yeah, maybe they have different birthdays. So, I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm assuming that you guys asked that question because that could have happened, but... Other than that, that whole birthday question. Uh, so walking around in public. Yeah, that's, that's an experience. Um, you know, what, what happens all the time is like, you'll be walking and then people will be like, like they'll start whispering, they'll look at you. And once they realize you're triplets, they start whispering and everything. Are those triplets? Oh my God, love triplets. Oh my God. We can hear you. We, we, can, we can hear you. And the stairs, like when they're like, when they're pointing and everything, like you might as well have like a pair of binoculars. Question we get sometimes is, is there really a band? Yes, there is a band. I mean, we don't play all that often. No, no, kind of. Yeah, I do not play an instrument, nor do we have a band. Embryonic stages. I'm still trying to get into the saxophone a little bit. Some, something going on there. I also play the drums. Ahmad definitely plays the bass. He's been playing bass for a little bit. I play bass. Malik plays, he plays drums. He plays saxophone. I mean, Ahmad can play the bass. He's good. Malik thinks he can play the saxophone. He can't. He thinks he can play the drums. He can like kind of, you know, keep a simple, but, but, you know, nothing more than that. We're trying to get Kalu on the keyboard. Whether that's gonna happen or not, I don't know, but... Uh, we're, we're trying to get him into, into the keyboard. Um, he's not really, he's not really doing it. I'm pretty good at the keyboard, if I do say so myself. I'm like, you know, Frank Ocean on the keys. They don't seem to think so, I don't, I don't really know why. We, we don't play, um, we don't play shows. But we're kind of a band. Something we get a lot is, um, so you guys are just like, like, like the Jonas Brothers. Like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, the Jones Brothers, the Jonas Brothers. Oh my God, you guys can be the Jonas Brothers. I'm like, yeah. So who's the leader of the group? That's definitely me. Malik thinks he is the leader. That's, that's not true. Malik thinks he's the leader, but like, no, he's definitely the most narcissistic though. Um, I mean, we're like, first born, not much else to it. You know, I just kind of take that natural leadership role. But out of the three of us, he's definitely the most narcissistic. Mr. Nice Watch. John Wall. Cocky. Um, cocky, definitely arrogant. You know what Malik means? It means king, leader. They might not, they might not say so, but they know it. It's, it's a natural position I've just taken as leader of the pack. Um, yeah, he's that's him. Amat, he's like the, he's kind of like low key mean. You know. All right, let's, this is a good one. Number seven. Which one are you? 
You know, there are there really are less offensive ways to ask this question. If you don't know, just fake it till you make it. I think I would rather have someone say, what's your name? Like, at least guess or something. Like, try. If you get it wrong, I, I get it. It's no, no big deal. I know I have two people who look exactly like me. Which one are you? Is definitely, like, one of the more rude ways to ask, you know, for my name. Going about it the wrong way, being like, which one are you? Or just not even trying in general, honestly. Lots of people just say, hey, triplet. They'll try and combine our names. So, Come on, colleague or something, you know? Like, ridiculous stuff. In the end, you know, I understand. Like, just put an effort into it. I won't be mad. I'm never mad. Presence. Presence. It's a rectangular box addressed to all three of us. Nine times out of 10, it's a board game. You know, we've accumulated quite a few games. Sorry, we got another board game. Um, it's pretty twisted. You guys didn't want to get us individual gifts. Orange, you glad we got you Bananagrams? No, not at all. Twister. No. Dominoes. Sorry. Food. Food is a big one. Food. We go through food like madmen. Food, food doesn't stay in our house. Ever. Um. Um. Cereal. One box of cereal. Family size box, by the way. Like big, you know, like box of cereal. That joint is gone and like. Two, three days tops. Juice, oh my God, we can drink a whole bottle of juice in, in one day. I'm fair with food, definitely. Uh, I get up first uh, in the morning to go to school, so I usually get my pick when they make our lunch in the morning. Um, Khalil, he usually makes, makes it to the kitchen first, so he gets like, you know, like his, his, his pick of the food. And I believe that's fair because I get them up and I'm the first one up, I get in the kitchen first, and I make my lunch first. It's just, you know, kind of the way things should work. Survival of the fittest, if you will. Really unfair on Malik. Malik gets the kitchen because he's like, he's like a black hole. He'll eat anything that like basically comes toward him, and he definitely, totally, 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 everything's unfair when he gets to the food first. I'm pretty fair when it comes to food. Um, I don't eat that much. They say I do, but maybe they just don't eat enough. Not my problem. Oh, he just eats, eats, eats. Like, we'll be, we'll be at, like, breakfast, and he's he's asking what's for dinner. Ahmad, he's kind of sneaky with the food, because, like, I'll mentally claim something in the refrigerator, like, I'm going to eat that later, but, like, I didn't necessarily tell somebody. He'll just, like, come in the, in the refrigerator and just eat it. I'll come back later. It's gone. And, like, you just, you don't know he does it because he's just so... Sneaky with it, little sneaky fox. Compliments. Compliments, yeah. I mean, it makes sense, right? If, if she thinks he's attractive, then guess what? I'm attractive too. Labels. Every year there's something we compare ourselves to. When we were little, it was the Powerpuff Girls, the Rowdy Rough Boys. I was Bubbles, I was the blue Rowdy Rock Boy, Power Rangers, Alvin and the Chipmunks, I am Theodore. As much as Theodore doesn't seem to be the leader, Theodore is on the low, the leader. He's the, he's the biggest, you know, he's got the most muscles. So. I was Simon. Um, Pokemon, we probably did that too. Oh, like the games. I was like the blue one when you started. Um, Ahmad was the red one. Malik was the green one. That's like always how it was. And then Eddie, I am Eddie, the leader. Uh, you might see a picture, you might not. Here it is. I was Eddie, 
Any like trio you can put yourself into, we were probably in it. Do we share clothes? That's a question we actually get a lot. Not really, honestly, because we don't really do that too much because um, we have our own clothes. Like, um, no, we rarely share clothes. That's like something that a lot of people think is weird. Um, we might share socks occasionally. You wear your own stuff and that's the way it is. Um, but yeah, no, shoes and clothes are something we keep to ourselves. People ask all the time if we have triplet telepathy. I don't know, do we? Do we have telepathy? Yes. Hold on, let me, I'm getting a signal right now. Khalil's telling me. Oh. Do we have telekinesis? Maybe. Better signal. Mm. Let me just get on my radar really quick. Sending a message out. Um, are we psychic? Probably. I can't really confirm or deny that, so. Yeah, it's classified. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Ah!